dear friends in this video we look at part 2 of support vector missions svm which is part of a journey in support vector missions we have already done part 1 now we are moving to part 2 what is the svm scenario finding lines that correctly classify the training data you can see here there is a line which is called the hyperplane and these are some data points these are data points belonging to one group this is a set of data points belonging to another group so you will have to find the best line that separates the two groups as sharply as possible. Among all such lines, pick the one that has the greatest distance to the points closest to it or closest to the margin. There are two points here, for example, the little dark one here and one here. This is closest to the margin here. This is margin. So one line of the hyperplane, which is positive and one negative. And this is the best hyperplane. And you have to remove points that are either on the boundary or closer to the margin. So the points that are closer they are called the support vector mission. Closest to points that identify this line. For example, this is uh, support vector 1 and 2. So, region they define around the line is known as the margin. So, your idea is to separate points that are on the boundary as far away as possible from the best line. At the same time, they should be away preferably even from the boundary lines that are here. There's one here, one there. So if you are able to separate and move it farther in the whole situation, then the support vector will be performing at its best level in terms of separating one data set from another data set belonging to the two groups. So some maths behind that, let's look at it. As all of you know, the hyperplane is given in the vector form W transpose X plus B is equal to zero. And primarily hyperplane means more than two dimensions. And uh, we have to give the constraint that the distance margin is made the largest. Let's now look at it here diagrammatically. This is the hyperplane W transpose X plus B equal to zero, the, the best divider. And this one is the negative line, which is below the central line. W transpose, you call it as XB, plus B is equal to minus 1. And likewise, there is another line, W transpose XA plus B is a positive plus 1. So, one group is identified as minus 1, another group is identified as plus 1. So, let's say defaulter is plus 1. Non-defaulter is minus one in the case of a bank giving loan to a customer. So it depends on how you put the numbers. Now, if you look at these points, one, two, on the boundary lines, that is on the line, W transpose XB plus one is equal to minus one. There are two points. Likewise, W transpose XA plus B is equal to 1 plus 1. There are two points. These are called the support vectors. And your job is to maximize the distance 
in such a manner, the distance between the margin in such a manner, these two, these four points, one, two, three, four, are just moved away from here and put somewhere as far as possible, as much distance as possible from these two separators. In other words, I would like to move it here. I would like to move it here to the extent possible. So what is the best line that can guarantee the greatest distance margin between the two boundary points is the classic support vector mission principle. As you know, anything is a hyperplane if it is more than two dimensions. A straight line is a hyperplane in the two dimension. When it is more than one, it will be a plane. So mathematically, when you formulate, it looks a little complex, but let us simplify this very soon. Find out the values W and B. The W are the coordinates. B is the intercept in such a manner that distance D is equal to 2 by norm W. Norm W is the uh, distance between points in the coordinate geometry. I will come to that. Is maximized for all xi, yi. In other words, yi, if there are two groups, you have yi and there could be several data points belonging to plus one group, several data points belonging to minus one groups and the coordinates xi are the predictor variables. And you have constraints W transpose xi plus b greater than or equal to one if yi equal to one W transpose xi plus b less than or equal to minus 1 if yi is minus 1. So combining this, a better formulation will be find the values of w and b such that the quadratic form half w transpose w phi w is minimized. In other words, d is maximized is same as 1 by d is minimized subject to the constraint all xi, yi for all of them, yi multiplied by w transpose xi plus b greater than or equal to 1. In other words, I can put these two sets of constraints into a single constraint. yi could be plus 1 or minus 1, but when I multiply, can I satisfy a set of constraints where yi into w transpose xi plus b greater than or equal to 1. This looks a little complex. Later, I will show you, perhaps in a master class, how to do it in Excel spreadsheet. Then you'll be laughing. It is so simple. And uh, it's not difficult, but it looks a little frightening or complex. Now, I simplify this further for the sake of clarity in a much, much better manner, which is, Minimize W1 squared plus W2 squared plus W3 squared, etc. plus WK squared divided by 2, subject to the constraints, Y1 into W1 X1 plus W2 X2, etc. plus WK XK plus B greater than or equal to 1, Y2 into W1 X1 plus W2 X2, etc. plus WK XK plus B greater than or equal to 1, like that, etc. If there are n data points, I put here yn into w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3, etc. plus wk xk plus b greater than or equal to 1. Now, there are n constraints. There is an objective function which is to minimize the distance margin w1 square plus w2 square etc plus wk square divided by 2 maximize the distance margin sorry is same as minimizing 1 by the distance margin 2 by the distance margin look at the previous slide 2 by the distance margin is to be maximized which is same as minimizing what you call norm w by 2 1 by d so this is precisely what I have done and subject to these constraints, n constraints, find out the coordinates, then you have a classic support vector mission problem solved in the sense 
you have scores which you have to compute. Each one is a hyperplane. Multiply each one, whatever value you get with y1, y2, etc. And if the score is positive, it belongs to plus one group. If it is minus, it belongs to the minus one group. And that's how you classify. But primarily what you are trying to say is, what are the values of W1, W2, etc., WK that minimize this objective function subject to the set of n constraints here? This is a classic quadratic programming which we will solve and then get the wonderful solution of support vector mission. This is the fundamental and foundation part of support vector mission. And once you go through, the math part will become much simpler. Thank you very much. We will see you soon in the next video. Thanks a lot.